Welcome to Live Like an Athlete. When I was at North Texas, I worked in the sports psychology lab. And one of our experiments, uh, I would go over to Kerr Hall and grab one of the lobby lizards, people just sitting in the lobby and ask, can I have 20 minutes of your time? And we'd, we'd go over to the, the lab and I would do a leg extension isokinetic machine. I would demonstrate it and I would just bam, explode and get like a thousand uh, on the readout. And then he would do it and he'd get like about 400 as his max on the leg extension. So then we'd compete on a, a task where we would sit on a chair and just extend our leg and hold it over a string. And when our foot hit the string, then the light would go on and that means you would lose, you know, if the other guy didn't drop his foot first. So uh, I was sitting on the right side of the uh, subject. And so I had a ball that I would put underneath my leg so he couldn't tell that I was cheating, that I was able to hold my leg up forever if I had to. So we would measure the amount of time that the person was able to hold their leg up. So I uh, did that with a group of subjects and with another group of subjects, I'd bring them in there, I'd explain the leg extension isokinetic machine and explode on it, but only get a score of 200 because I, I knew how to kind of cheat the machine. So then he would do it and he'd get a 400. And then we would do that holding the uh, leg over the string task to see how long that that person could hold it against me. Amazingly, the person that I exploded and got a thousand when he was competing against me versus the person where I only got whatever, you know, 200, the person that thought he could beat me would hold his foot up longer than the person who thought that they were going to lose. So this shows us so much about how we think. We think, you know, you go out on the tennis court and the guy has five rackets under his arm, so you automatically think you're going to lose. So he psychs you out. And it's the same way in the world of not just fitness, but everything, that everything has to do with our expectations. So uh, the lesson here is don't get psyched out. Always expect a positive result. See you next time.